That deserves golf, golf claps for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank Welcome you. to the Super Fun Awesome Happy Done Pedal Show. Hey, my name is Gabor. Hey, I'm Alex. Welcome along. Uh, and what do we have today, Alex? Um, we've got a Moztronics Expand Drive. This is the EX1. We're checking out a whole bunch of a um, whole bunch of their pedals. Yep. And uh, this is one of the overdrives. Yes. Mm. Uh, somewhat loosely based on a uh, Tube Screamer, but yes. with added benefits. Mm. and things. Nice. Uh, and in the intro as well, we had the uh, Electromonics Holier Grail on the flurb setting, the flanger verb. Yeah. With a bit of flangerized, or flanger, as they call it in Australia. Do flanger they? verb. Do they? No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> flanger. No, it says um, and yeah, well, we're going to the Serotonin OTS Mini 20 and clean it sounds suchly. Beautiful. So we have five knobs. We have gain, tone, and volume. And then we also have expand and assim. Mm. Now gain is gain. Yes. Tone is a treble cut or boost, um, depending which, you know, where you, you want it. Volume is volume. <laughs> uh, expand, uh, okay, so expand, what does it actually say? Let me, let me, so expand controls the amount of si signal expansion. Mm. Uh, and so, that's, so that's good. Yes, subtle but audible. Yeah. And a sim controls the asymmetry of the clipping. So um, I guess you have symmetrical and asymmetrical clipping. I know yeah. you do have that. So that I guess you can go between that. Yeah, straight. <laughs> uh, and expand, expands it. It does make it sound, it kind of opens it up a bit, the expand knob. Yeah. But let's have a listen. So um, let's put everything at 12 o'clock. Sure. And go from there. Is that just the gain and the... Just the gain and the tone I was playing around with. Sweet. Good uh, job. Thank you. Uh, okay, so now let's put the gain... Let's leave the gain on full because maybe you hear it the most with gain sure. on full. So now I'm going to move the expand knob. Let's start with the expand. has a different it's hard to kind of put your finger on what it actually does but it almost sounds a bit smoother and a bit raspier i found from a playing field perspective if you turn it all the way up it kind of makes it smoother slightly less definition but easier to make it sound smoother okay if that makes sense yeah um yeah okay well let's so which way do you like it better uh, probably mostly towards the right hand side Has a kind of growl that way a bit yeah. more? It's a bit raspier. Okay, let's try the asymmetry now. So we go, let's go all the way clockwise. Again, it seems to kind of open the sound up a little bit. I like it to the right too. You like it to the right too? Yeah. So how far to the right? Like there? <laughs> to me it seems to, with both, clockwise it seems to get a little bit 
for lack of a better word, angrier. Sure, okay. Whereas to the left, counterclockwise, it seems almost like a little bit smoother, more open. Yeah. Right. Maybe, well, maybe more compressed too. Yeah, it's kind of like, seems like a definition thing in the upper mids that you lose, but also kind of makes it easier to play. Which is a compression thing. Yeah, that's maybe that's what it is. Um, okay, well, let's try it at lower gain settings. Cool. Sounds good. I really like this. Should we try it? Sweet. Should we try it with the Jazz Master? Let's, let's do that. Clean sounds actually. Duncan Chiquiti one pickups in there. One thing, and all of his pedals have that in common, and that's I think why I like it so much. They're so fat and raspy, but definition. Yeah. That's with all of them. If you again, if you check out all the other demos, they've done a bunch of demos and a bunch of his pedals. Um, fat, thick, like that growl, mm. but definition. <laughs> Like this better? Probably like the other way around better. It's angrier. Yeah. Again, it almost, almost ever so slightly seems to go into like fuzzy territory mm. on that side. Cleans up nicely when you pick softly. Yeah, yeah, go, go, try that setting out. Go for it. I'll get the humbuckers going. Sure. A Glenn, a Glenn. Again, it's always um, all these pedals have that clarity. Which is yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of but a fat. 
signature <clears throat> signature thing, which is pretty cool. Which you don't usually get the the fatness and the clarity and yeah. the definition. Okay, humbuckers. Why does it sound so muffled? Is your tone wound down or something? No, it turns all. Oh, maybe it was. No, that's a tone all the way down. Again, fuzz, almost fuzz. Rock and roll. Should we now try it? Because in the manual it says it works really well with the TD1 tube driver. And it so happens that there's one right here on the floor, which sounds such which in itself is a really, really good pedal. And the demo for that is right here. Most likely. Now let's expand it. Should we back that off a bit? The game? It's, it's on... It's as low as it goes, wow. almost. <laughs> So this is the uh, tube driver by itself. Should we try the Jazzmaster? Sure. So this is just a tube driver.
It's definitely very rock and roll. <whistles> Sounds good though. It's getting loud in here. It's getting loud in here. <laughs> um, that's the expand, I like. expand drive. So that's expand drive. So it, it is a. It, I mean, I haven't a huge amount of experience with many Tube Screamer related things, mm. but I guess it's his take or their take on Mostronic's take on the Tube, scre tube Screamer with added yes. expandability and asymmetricality. Yeah. <laughs> the, the tweakicity level is quite high. Tweakicity. Tweak tweakicity. Anyway, um, it's yeah. cool. It's really good. And like all the Mastronics pedals, uh, it's different. Mm. It has its own kind of thing to it, which in the world of drives in different gain stages is hard nowadays because there's so much stuff out there. But this stuff all is kind of unique. Yeah. To a certain degree. I think the main kind of characteristics that go across the range are that definition at high gain. Yep. And the big fat bottom end, but still having the definition with the punch and yeah. the weight. And that growl. Mm. That seems to be one, that, and that's one thing I really like about it, with all of it, mm. all of his pedals so far. Um, it's that growl. It's, it's angry. <laughs> Yet... Nice. Polite. <laughs> Polite, yes. <clears throat> yeah, cool. So if you want to find out more about Mostronics, uh, there's a link down below. Uh, and go check it out. He's got some killer stuff. Mm. He's even got a harp preamp as well. Yeah, cool. Mm. If you're a harp player out right there. If you're playing harp like this. Yes, that, just that kind of harp. That's the one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, and what actually, else? <laughs> actually, a friend of mine plays harp like that. Okay. Do you know Kate? Flume? Yeah, yeah. Flume? Or not Flume's not Flume anymore? No, they changed the band name. Because the, the other Flumes came along. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she has a pickup in it and runs it through like a wire pedal. And, and all these effects, yeah. Delays and modulation. Yeah. It's really cool. Anyway, um, yes, check out our Instagram, <laughs> Facebook page. Getting sidetracked. <laughs> and um, podcast, which is on iTunes, Podbean. Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Spotify. Spotify now yeah. as well, yes. Uh, and we'll be talking about these very pedals. Yeah. Also, look up the Moon Sets, which is that band that has the harp player. The Moon what? Moon Sets. Moon Sets? Yeah, it's like a Moon Rise, but a Moon Set. Ah, Moon Set. Because mm. yeah, they uh, they've been around for a while, because yeah, I remember yeah. them. And they, uh, yeah, they used to be called The Flume. Yes. But then Flumes. The Flumes came out, and then they changed it, and they got a little bit more popular. <laughs> yeah. uh, but they're Australian oh. too, aren't they? The Flumes? I think so. That's yeah, Australian, yeah. Or the guy who's the Flumes. Yeah, it's very different music. Yeah, very different music. Not hippie harp music, but. Because it's harp, drum, and bass, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Mm. It's interesting, actually. And she is. It's pretty cool. She's not. She's relatively easy on the eye as well, which is always a handy thing. Is she? Yes. I'll let her know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on that note, cool. uh, see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.